Hey everybody, thanks for watching. My name is Steve from Living Inc. And in this video, I'll show you the original kit and how to use the original kit. So here's the original kit uh, right in front of us. Uh, in the bag, should have two pieces of paper, the greenhouse that's wrapped, uh, the block that'll hold the finished product, and the inks and the refills and the pens and the instructions. So first things first, when you get it out, uh, it's not a bad idea just to make sure that everything was included in the kit. And so take a look at the picture that's on the uh, instructions on page two. That should line up. It's not a horrible idea to actually line up everything as it is in, in the uh, picture. And so what we can do is we can remove our refills and put them aside. That's probably the best uh, idea to start there. What we want to start with is unwrapping the greenhouse. So the greenhouse has um, a type of uh, uh, flexible tape around it, and this holds in the moisture that makes up the greenhouse. And so you want to make sure that you unwrap the, the greenhouse fully. Um, what you see in here is a type of uh, almost a, a jello that's made up of uh, almost 100% water. So whatever comes out of the kit, uh, out of the greenhouse is actually just water. So just uh, wipe it up if you do have any problems. So we go ahead and uh, unwrap the uh, greenhouse. Next thing we'll do is take one of our pieces of paper and wet it. So you wanna actually wet the paper because this is what the algae will actually grow on. And so they grow uh, because of nutrients and moisture. And so we need to start with some moisture. So we'll put the greenhouse aside and actually just dip the entire piece of paper in water. And so you can use a, a faucet as well, but I just decided to fill up a, a, a cooking um, tray. So you can see that there's water dripping off it. What we want to do is just place it onto a paper towel and blot it dry. It's pretty simple just to, to get off that extra moisture. And um, we're ready to actually uh, work with the paper. And so what we can do is start with the fast growing ink that actually doesn't have a sticker on it, but the jar itself has a dark sticker. And so that's how you can determine what's what. You also get a uh, paintbrush with a dark uh, sticker on that as well. Go ahead and take the, the top off the paintbrush and you wanna mix the fast ink. So just shake it back and forth and make sure that you can't see any of the, uh, of the algae actually hanging out in a certain place and go ahead and pour it in the jar. Um, put that aside and we can actually just mix the algae ink, the fast ink with our paintbrush and we are ready to paint. And so you can actually draw with the algae ink and you should be able to see it clearly on there. What's going to happen is this ink will, um, get a little lighter over the first day or two. Um, but then after that, it will actually uh, darken as it grows. And so you should be able to see where you're drawing. Um, and you can go over your lines if that helps some, but there's the idea of the fast growing ink. And so you'll be able to see this quite distinctly if you use a uh, a strong lamp or you have ample enough uh, sunlight. So there's the there's the fast growing ink. With the slow growing ink we have two. We have our uh, uh, invisible ink so you can see where you're drawing and the algae ink. And so we're gonna mix the two. So you want to make sure that you uh, shake up both pretty uh, vigorously so you can shake shake the guys. And you're gonna add it to the jar with the light dot. So light dot, light dot, light dot. So go ahead and open the jar. And uh, one or the other you can pour in first, it doesn't matter. So discard these when you're finished. And now one thing that's important is you want to make sure that you use the paintbrush with the light dot with uh, uh, the slow growing ink and the paintbrush with the dark dot with the fast growing ink. And so go ahead and mix it up pretty quickly in the jar. And go ahead and get to painting.
And so this red invisible ink will disappear over time, but this is where you'll actually see the algae uh, growing. But it gives you an opportunity to see where you're painting. Uh, this ink should disappear over, uh, over several hours, minutes to hours. Um, so yeah, you wanna use this ink pre pretty quickly. You don't want it mixed for too long. Um, you know, use it within about a half an hour of actually mixing and uh, opening it. And so there's my uh, masterpiece. So I'll just uh, let everybody know that I am a biologist by training. I am not an artist, so uh, yeah. You guys make the cool art, we'll make uh, the cool science. So what you wanna do next is um, just place your art onto the auger side of the greenhouse. And so go ahead and open it up and you'll see one side's covered with a goo and the other one's clear. So all you want to do is just place it directly in the kit. There it is. Close it up. Put it in your living ink uh, tray and uh, there's the finished kit. Use a lot of light. If you have a desk lamp that has a, a, a a uh, light bulb with, uh, that has a 60 watt equivalent light bulb in it, whether it's LED or incandescent or fluorescent, either of those work. You just want to have a high intensity and, and put it about uh, a foot away to six inches away from the actual kit. Leave it on for as long as you like. The algae needs sunlight or artificial light to grow. So if you have a nice sunny place um, to place it where the kit itself is going to get direct sunlight for more than four hours, that works as well. Um, face the art towards the light. These guys are little algae cells and they love their sunlight. So um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a, a comment or, uh, or get a hold of Scott or I via our Kickstarter page. Thanks.